Hello, it's John here for another A52 tutorial. In the last tutorial, we created a muzzle flash in After Effects. We then exported that muzzle flash as a PNG sequence, and that's what we can see here. As you can see, that is a whole lot of PNGs. But anyway, let's go into Unreal and see what we can do to put these together, how we could assemble them and create a 2D muzzle flash. So I'm going to create a new folder because I'd like to keep all those organized. I'll call them muzzies, PNGs, just so I know. And I put a dash, not an underscore. So I'm going to import all these in here. And let that do its thing. And once we've got all those in there, we're going to look at how we can add all these together to create a flipbook inside Unreal. And then how we can use those. So let's right click and we're going to Sprite Actions, Create Sprites. And again, give that a sec to its thing. And now we've got all these other ones, which are good because we can see the alpha around there. So with them all highlighted again, we're going to right click and create flipbook. And let's name it um, Muzzle Flip. That'll do. That'll do. And let's open it. And there it goes, doing its thing. So when we created this, I'm fairly certain it was 24 frames a second, I think. Or it could have been 30. I think it was 24. Ultimately, I don't think it matters too much, to be honest. And there we go, we've got our muzzle flash going on. So if we zoom in and look a little bit, you can um, remember how I was talking about this glow effect isn't going to come out looking too good because of um, how it masks and how it, the opacity is when we create PNGs. It can't quite do the feathering how we'd like it to, but ultimately, you know, it still creates a pretty unique, cool effect. Like, there's a couple of frames in there where we've not really got the glow on, and we can see the spikes coming out. Probably should have maybe geared it a bit more towards that. But let's keep going with it and see what we get. So I'm just going to close that for now, because now we've got the spray sheet. And let's go back and create another gun. Well, we're going to create another blueprint, actually. So let's go in an actor again, and we'll call this Gunny 2 2D. We're going to call it Gunny 2D. We'll just go BD. Just because we want to remember that this one is going to be a blueprint one, but it's going to be slightly different. Let's go in there and add ourselves a static mesh. And obviously, it's going to be the gun. Right, so we're going to change the, let's just change the material upon this as well, just so we can sort of tell it apart. Let's put a lambidate on, whatever that is. Lambidate will do. And we are going to want to add a new component. We're going to want to add a flipbook, a paper flipbook. So in the flipbook, let's find our flipbook. And there's only one. That's pretty nice and easy. Whoa, that's huge. Let's bring that down a bit. How's that? That looks a bit better, still a bit mighty huge. But yeah, we can work with that. Maybe try point 0.1. Yeah, that's better. Put that in place. We're going to want to make sure it's right in the middle as well. You see how we're just off if we rotate around? There we go. Maybe push it left a little bit as well. So, there we go. We brought our flipbook in and we've got that set up. Let's just compile that. Pull you out of the way for a second. And I'm going to drop my gunny in my scene. Let's 
scale up a bit as well in the scene so you can sort of see it. Alright. Cool, so we've got that going on. That looks pretty cool. But it's constantly in rotation, so let's have a look at that. Let me just I just want to check my input as well on this from last time. Cool, that's fine. Alright, so let's play with this a little bit more. Let's go into our event graph. So, uh, what are we going to want to do? We're going to be able to want to trigger it, so let's bind it to a key. I think I bound the other key to R, so let's set this one to Q. So when Q is pressed, now let's type in flipbook and see what options we've got. Um, so we can set it. We're gonna want a component. We could activate it, deactivate it. Mm, no, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's just have it sort of running all the time and just set it to visible. Because what will happen for quick test, like let's say if I stop my flipbook upon pressing it, then what will happen is it will just freeze. So, so, yep, see, upon the key command, it, it's just frozen. Yeah? That's not what we want. And we could kill it, but then we're not going to be able to bring it back. So, let's use the visibility. So, we're going to go into it. And... So, it's, like it's invisible at the start. And upon the key press, we're going to want to do the visibility. So, let's go to flip. And we'll type in visible and then toggle visibility and we're going to do the same thing upon released so that's just going to toggle it off and on with the boolean off and on so upon Q being pressed this should turn the thing visible and invisible let's find out yeah so this way I can hold it as in, you know, if we've got like a machine gun, we've got constant fire. Or like if we just press it, it also just create the one effect. So there we have it, guys. We have taken the muzzle flash that we've created in After Effects and pulled it into Unreal to tie it all together. So I hope you found that useful, how we could use flipbooks to bring them together with a PNG sequence and how that would look in game. Cool, thanks for watching.